on sustainable tourism. Over to my class, you can just speak to them, share your views for the first 15 minutes and then later on they will have some questions now. Okay, it will be an interactive session. Okay. Alright, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, great. Good morning ma'am, we are students of life today and we are here to... Okay, that's a that's a big topic. <laughs> um, I can I can tell you about my experience as a as a traveler, um, someone who is um, tries to be a conscientious um, traveler when I explore new places. Uh, I try to be. Um, gentle with the environment on how I travel, the choices that I make when I choose travel destinations and ways that I can travel. Um, I also look to see how I can benefit the local community wherever I go so that I'm um, not an intruder, but I'm someone who can come and share and learn my financial dollars that I spend while traveling, I need to make sure that those go back to the local community. Um, I think it's really important to have a promotion of sustainable development, not only from an environmental perspective, um, you need to maintain a lot of our precious places. Um, I think that, that our Earth is the only place that we have and we must really take care of it. And if you can conserve a location and make it such that you can invite other people to enjoy it, then you have a greater chance of people wanting to take care of it. Um, I also think it's important from a local economy perspective where people who come to appreciate uh, an environment and partake in the community, that they can financially support that community. Um, so those are, the, those are the two big benefits that I see from sustainable tourism. Um, and I think every individual is, is unique in how they choose to travel. Um, you can choose different modes of transportation. Obviously, if you fly in an airplane, that's going to create more carbon. Um, you can offset that carbon by purchasing credits uh, where trees can be planted in place of however much carbon you release into the air. I don't know if you've studied that. Um, I also, when I choose a tourism operator, so sometimes I, when I visit a place, uh, you have to go through a, an operator in order to gain access to either the national park or the local um, seas, like if I, if I go out into the ocean um, to look at a coral reef or to go snorkeling, you need to re rely on local um, operators. And so I always try to find non-profit organizations who specialize in conservation, who uh, really care about the environment, who care about educating um, the people that are there to visit. Uh, I, think, I think that's also very important. Likewise, you can also choose where you stay and where you eat. Um, again, the large commercial hotels, uh, 
they may not be paying their workers a living wage. Uh, the smaller hotels that may be family owned, you, you have a greater chance of having your um, financial contribution go directly to the people that, that work there. So that's my experience. I, I've been very lucky that I work I work in international development at field as a career, and so I work with nonprofit organizations all over the world. Um, and I've been very lucky that I, through my work, I've been able to travel to a lot of different places, and um, that is, has really made me appreciate that I do visit another place and another culture, and it makes me think about how I visit and what my impact is when they go. And I, I try to share those best practices with other people um, who also travel.